Now let's take a look at how you can connect your icon up to the computer network in your pharmacy. You can do this either just to gain access to the files on board the icon or to actually interface it with your pharmacy management system. So from the startup menu, press the settings button, then select the TCP IP tab. At the very top, you'll see the MAC address. Your pharmacy management software provider may ask you for that if you're doing the interface. Below that, you have the IP address and subnet mask. There are two ways to determine the IP address. One is dynamic addressing, which means that the router assigns the icon an IP address and static address, meaning you type one in. We're going to use the dynamic address, but if your pharmacy management software supplier wants to specify a specific address, you would select that and then key it in. So right now you see that the IP address is zero. So if I hit update, it stays zero. I do not have a network connection right now. So if you don't have a connection, that's a good indication that there's a problem with your, either your connection to your router, your power up of your router, or just uh, check all your cable connections. So I'm going to go ahead and make the connection now. After making the connection, wait a couple of seconds, and then press Update, and then Refresh. An IP address should appear in the IP address box. In this case, 192.168.2.2. And then the subnet mask also shows up, 255.255.255.0. The subnet mask is that's typically used on 99% of the installations. If your pharmacy software provider or your IT consultant suggests something different, you can change it to that. Once you've allowed the router to assign an IP address, the best thing to do is change it to a static address and then hit update and refresh. This will cause the icon to not get a different IP address every time it powers up so that your com other computers, when they try to access the icon, the IP address is constant and not changing. Next, the listener port. This lower setting is only used for when you are interfaced your, with your icon and your pharmacy management software. So the listener port is the port on the interface that the icon is listening to for packets of data coming from your pharmacy management system. So 1024 is the default that works most of the time. But you have to check with your pharmacy software pr provider to see if that works for them. Next is the drop-down menu that shows all of the available interfaces that the icon supports. We're continually adding new ones, so look on the list, look for the one you're interested in, and select it. Then below there, there's the PMSS data purge time. This is how long the icon holds on to the data that was sent over from the system. Typically, you'll want to set this for a fairly long time. This will determine how long the icon will keep track of your partial fills, for example. So if you do a partial fill today for Mrs. Jones, and you want to come back in four months and scan that same prescription label, then you want to make sure this, this is set for at least four months if you want the icon to let you know. 120 days is the default. That works for most people. This completes the TCP IP tab. However, if you are doing an interface and your pharmacy software provider has the bi-directional interface with the icon so that they can receive the results of every prescription you've filled, then you'll need to scroll over to the right using the arrow button, select the remote server tab, then enable the provide count results to the pharmacy system bi-directional. Then you can specify the IP address of the computer system that the icon needs to send the results back to, as well as their port number that you'll be sending to. Again, you'll need to contact your pharmacy management software supplier to get that information. Next, in order to complete the setup for the pharmacy management system, you'll need to go to the barcode tab and specify PMSS mode then press OK after making all these changes in order to save your settings. This completes the setup for interfacing your icon.